Ahoy! Um, so back in December of 2019, uh, the TV that we had on the wall that I'd previously baked stopped working again. Um, and so we bought a new TV on the basis that uh, we didn't want something we were continually having to repair um, as our main TV. So we bought a new TV and I, I popped this one, just sort of stored it in my office for a little bit. And then I decided to try and bake it again. And in fact, it revived it. Um, so I was very happy and I've been using it since as a sort of breakout room. But moreover, I've been using it while I've been cycling in here during lockdown um, as something to watch. And, and also I can play games in here while the rest of the family are, are watching other things. So it has been a useful secondary TV to have. Uh, we don't have any other televisions in the house. Um, and it's given up again. So if I turn it on um, in exactly the same way as it was before, I do now have um, a couple of devices now hooked up. I've got my, my computer is hooked up to it. Um, and you can hear it just suddenly sort of kicking in that it's found it. Um, so if I switch over to my PC, um, sure enough, it shows absolutely sweet nothing. And just says it's connecting. The computer believes that there is a signal um, but it's obviously not outputting and we just see this um, cube of doom. Um, so I am going to try and bake it again. So this will be the third time that I've baked it um, and so I'm going to do a little time lapse of me taking it apart, baking it and then putting it back together again so you can see what I've been up to. All right, hopefully it will work out. If it doesn't, I guess I'm getting a new, new telly. All right, see you on the other side.
Okay, so I've now baked the board. Uh, as you saw, I put it all back together. Um, so it was in at 200 degrees for about 10 minutes on a convection, well, a fan oven. Um, and then I just left it there for about half an hour, an hour, and uh, just let it settle. And then was able to, it was touch cold, um, sufficient for me to then just be able to slot it back in. I did lose one of the screws, but as you saw, I tried to tip it up and um, it wasn't coming back out. And in fact, when I hung it on the wall, I still couldn't hear it. Normally you hear it sort of tinkling down like a penny in one of those arcade machines and it, and it didn't do that. So it's lodged somewhere. I didn't, the, the solution to that probably would have been for me to have got a magnet on the end of a stick or something, but um, with all the electronics being a little bit dubious anyway, if it shorts out now, I really haven't lost anything, so um, it's unlikely to short um, because we went underneath the board. But anyway, we're about to find out if it worked um, and if I've managed to recover my TV. Um, yeah, so let's find out. So I'm going to try it with the Amazon Prime. Oh, my computer has just woken up. See if my computer I think oh we've got it back. So that's good. Um let's just make sure that that is also working with my Amazon box as well and yay so even if it's even if you um, have baked your PCB once um, you can recover your um, your TV uh, rebaking as well so I mean I expect this might last another year possibly um, I don't hold out much hope um, and I am looking at the sales and seeing whether it's something I can replace in the near future, but i um, pleased to have something that I can cycle at again now. Anyway, I shall get back to watching Truth Seekers. Take care, bye.